Selling books on Amazon is great for everyone but the author. Find out why next. Welcome back to another episode of Indie Author Pro. I am the founder, Ryan C. Green, and I am excited about this episode. Listen, uh, today we're going to talk about why I hate selling books on Amazon and what I do instead. So if you are watching, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. Hit the subscribe button down there uh, so that you can uh, get all the shows and subscribe. Help us uh, build our YouTube channel but also uh, share the video out as well if you see value in it. So listen, I wanna talk today about the big behemoth Amazon, right? Amazon started out as a online bookstore. Now they're pretty much online everything, right? Uh, it's hard to compete with Amazon. If you want to sell a book, you wanna sell anything, you pretty much have to go sell it on Amazon because that's where the consumers are. But there's a, a problem with selling your books on Amazon, and that is uh, that, well, I'm going to go through a lot of reasons, what the pro a lot of problems with the are, but I'm going to show you, first of all, what happened to me. Now, I have a book, and I've been selling books for 15 years, like I've said, and my most recent book, Becoming a Passionpreneur, is a hardcover book. I sell the book for $24.99, uh, and, and on Amazon, I sell it for $24.99 on Amazon, as well as, you know, throughout my own uh, channels as well. Uh, I was looking at Amazon one day and I would just go and look at my books. I always check the numbers and see where it is and see, you know, uh, how it's pacing on the list. And I want to show you what I saw on Amazon. This was, uh, I don't have the date anymore, but this was from, this is my book, the screenshot from Amazon. Put it up here for you. This is a real shot from Amazon. You can see the price right there. They're selling my book for $4.23. $4.23 is how much they were selling my $25 hardcover book for. Now, I can't even print the book for $4.23, so I don't know how in the world they're selling it uh, for that amount of money, right? And I recently saw something where it talked about uh, the Amazon business model is that where they're willing to, to lose money uh, in the first several years of doing something so they can just create that market share, penetrate that market, and, and really get that stranglehold, and then go out there and start to make money. So. When you, I'm not the only author who's been in that situation where you go and you can't even compete with uh, your, your Amazon to sell your own books. So what do you do? You know, I'm in a situation where I want to sell books, and as an author, you're out here trying to make money and, and try to build a business. Uh, but what kind of business? If, if I'm selling a book for twenty-five dollars, and, and at any point in time, Amazon is going to sell it for four, less than five dollars, less than it costs to print the book. How do you compete? There's five reasons I want to give you why. I hate Amazon and why we should be looking for other options, okay? Uh, reason number one is that when someone, when Amazon sells a book, guess what? Amazon owns the buyer information. Amazon owns all the information on who uh, buys your book. Now, one of my uh, mentors, Trevor Otts, always talks about people pay you in three ways. They pay you first with information, second with action, third through money, right? So the first thing they want to pay you with is information. That's really the most important thing. You can't go to Amazon and say, hey, give me a list of everyone who bought my book. You can't do that. Uh, but with Amazon, they have all the information, everyone who sold your book. And you know what they do with that information? When those people who are buying your books, they go through and they say, hey, why don't you, uh, since you bought this, maybe you'll also like this. So they're already cross-marketing mar cross uh, other inventory to sell with your book. And more than likely, it's not one of your books. They don't recommend another one of your books, right? So you're losing customers that way that you could be cross-marketing yourself, but you don't have the information. So you go and sell a book through Amazon, you have no idea who's buying your books, uh, but they have all that information they continue to build and they continue to sell more and make more money uh, through your hard work and through your books. Reason number two is, as I just showed you earlier, Amazon manipulates your book prices. They actually become your competitor. So, you know, where that you're thinking that this is your distribution channel, they're actually uh, bootlegging your own book. It's like being a singer and the record label is now selling your album cheaper than the record stores, but you don't get the money for it, right? So it, Amazon is ultimately bootlegging your books. They're ultimately selling your books and manipulating the prices that you can't even compete. So it leaves you out in the cold. They become your competition. So how are you competing against the same people who's supposed to be helping you grow your book? Reason number three is that Amazon doesn't upsell your books. Like I said, Amazon will 
upsell other products. Amazon will add on things to the sale, but it won't be your stuff. Amazon won't go out there and sell another one of your books. I have uh, seven, eight books on Amazon right now, and I've never seen when someone purchases one of my books that Amazon recommends another one of those books. Even when I buy on Amazon, if I buy a book from uh, a John C. Maxwell, for instance, it doesn't recommend 10 of the John C. Maxwell books, it'll recommend 10 other authors' books. So when they upsell, uh, they don't recommend your stuff. So again, it, it stunts your growth. Whereas if you're doing your books, if you're selling books through sales funnels that we talked about in the last episode, uh, you are able to upsell your own stuff. You're able to cross market your own stuff. You have more control over who, uh, wh what you're gonna market to your potential customers. Reason, reason number four is that Amazon takes too long to pay you. <laughs> Let's just be honest, Amazon takes too long to pay you. So if you are using uh, any other distributor outside of uh, Amazon Kindle Direct, so if you're using another uh, book distributor or printer and they're selling your books through Amazon, Amazon's gonna take 90 days to pay you on the book sale that you made. So if you sell a book today, you're waiting three months to get paid on that. Now, if you have uh, Amazon Kindle, if you set up your book directly through them, what formerly was called Create Space, if you set up your book through them, uh, they'll pay you in 30 days. Now, 30 days doesn't seem that long, uh, doesn't seem that long when compared to 90 days, but when you're selling your books yourself, you get paid right away, right? So understand that when you're talking about uh, building a business, cash flow is king, right? So the faster you can get your money, uh, the faster that you can uh, do something else with that money. So when you deal with Amazon, understand you're talking about a 90 day wait just to get your money for the books that you sold that you don't even know who bought the books. Reason number five is that you really don't know how many books you sold on Amazon. Uh, you can get a ballpark figure and they'll give you a number, but you really don't know. And I, and I say that in reference to uh, going bestseller. You know, uh, bestseller status is one thing that any author wants to have. Uh, many authors just call themselves that, but there actually is a uh, an achievement to, you know, there's things to do to become a bestseller. And on Amazon, you become a bestseller uh, by selling any number of books at a certain amount of time, a certain period of time, and that's where you rank on a list. But the secret about best, the dirty secret about becoming a bestseller is that uh, having that title doesn't equal income. You can be a bestseller on Amazon because you sold more books in a particular hour than certain other uh, books in your category, but that doesn't mean you sold, there's, there's no number on that. You don't know how many books you actually sold. So becoming an Amazon bestseller, while it's great and while it's, it's very uh, notable and, and something to be proud of, it doesn't equate to sales. It doesn't equate to finances. It doesn't mean that you were a best revenue author. And that's what I like. I like best revenue authors, right? So if I'm going to sell a book and be on some list, tell me I made the most money with my book. Not just that I was ranking, you know, a number on a list. So that's another thing about Amazon is that you don't have control or, and know exactly how many books you're selling to be able to become a bestseller, where you are, what your goals. If you, if you have a goal uh, to sell uh, 100 books in a week, you won't know for three months if you hit that number or not. And what business waits three months to get results back to decide how you want to adjust your tactics uh, moving forward. So you want to make sure that the faster you can get information, uh, the better. And, and the way you do that is simply by controlling as much of it as possible. As Listen, if you watched more than one episode of the Indie Author Pro Show, you know by now uh, sales funnels is where it is, right? When we're talking about selling your own books and how to break free of the Amazon, you know, Amazon uh, conglomerates, you want to build a sales funnel. You want to have automated sales funnels for all of your books, each one individually, so that they have their own environment that, in which they live and their own systems in which they flow. So I want to encourage you, if you don't have that sales funnel built, if you want to know how you can get yourself away from Amazon, and when I say away, I don't mean we're not going to have books on Amazon. You'll still have your books on Amazon. All of my books are still available on Amazon. Uh, but if you want to really take more control of your uh, sales process and your profit, uh, then you want to start to build those sales funnels for yourself. So uh, go ahead to IndieAuthorPro.com. Go ahead and set up a discovery session uh, call that we can talk about the sales funnels. We can talk about how to maximize your revenues, how to go out there and really uh, sell more books uh, and, and get away from Amazon so you can put more money in your own pocket. So I want to thank you for tuning into this episode. I look forward to seeing you on the next show. Talk to you soon.